Welcome to the SEI podcast series, a production of Carnegie Mellon University's Software Engineering Institute. The SEI is a federally funded research and development center sponsored by the U.S. Department of Defense and operated by Carnegie Mellon University. A copy of today's podcast is available at the SEI's website at www.sei.cmu.edu slash podcast. My name is Suzanne Miller. I'm a principal researcher here at the SEI, and I'm very pleased to introduce you once again, he's been a guest of ours many times, to Dr. Julien Delange, who is one of our researchers at the SEI and who's going to be talking to us today about fault tree analysis and tools for doing that. Um, Dr. Julien Delange comes to us from the European Space Agency and has been working uh, for several years now on the architecture analysis and design language. Welcome, Julien. Thanks for having me, Suzanne. I'm very glad to talk to you about this. So fault tree analysis is a standard systems engineering tool for understanding how failures can, can happen and have happened. And so this is something that um, is very important within the systems engineering community. So I can certainly understand why it's been taken up by the AADL team. So why don't you tell us a little bit about how you came to be working in this area and what your current progress has been in developing this open system tool. Okay, so it's, it started in fact uh, when we worked for, um, for a project with the Savvy Consortium. Okay, so Savvy is the consortium, the avionics consortium that exactly. is using AADL uh, to do various kinds of experiments and, and actually use it in their work in developing avionics products. That's, that's correct. So uh, Savvy stands for System Architecture Vi Virtual Integration. So in fact, during this project, we were working on AADL and safety. So um, if you look at the different standards required for avionics safety, fault tree analysis is one of the analysis you need to do. Right, every standard needs that. Exactly. So, um, so in fact, we started to implement different tools. And um, many analyses, uh, like FHA or FMEA, it's, it's really like the, the tool is not um, difficult to, uh, to, 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 to support. Basically, people are using spreadsheet, Word document, and things like this. So it's easy to export your analysis results in Excel or Word. Um, what we faced is for fault tree, we had no tool. So we started. So there wasn't an existing tool out, out in the uh, space that you were working in that so, re related to the avionics. So, so th there was. Um, uh, in fact, to be honest, there is some commercial tool. There are some commercial okay. tools available, but that's an issue when you are doing research because. Uh, as a community, want a tool, like, for example, that is not expensive and you can modify. Sure. So, um, so there was a tool uh, that was available uh, online, but really outdated. Like the tool is probably five or eight years ago. In today's world, yes, that's outdated. And so, <laughs> so, so, for example, it, it, um, you have to change the, the source to uh, to make it working on Linux. There was some issue with Java, you know, like. For example, um, backward compatibility issue things right. like this. So um, the issue as well is how to integrate that with the uh, that and ADL modeling environment. Yes. So uh, we decided, uh, Peter Feiler and myself, to start a new tool. Um, and in Eclipse, you have this um, modeling framework called EMF, Eclipse Modeling Framework. Yes. And we. Um, we build on top of it uh, a new model uh, to design a fault tree. So okay. we use it, and after that, um, there is a, a really good framework called Sirius, developed by a French company called okay. Obio, and we work with them to make the graphical representation. So okay. we did that really quickly, and uh, we, ha we came with this new tool called EMFTA, uh, so this tool is totally integrated into Eclipse and allow you to edit and design your fault tree. It's totally open source. It has been released okay. under the BSD license, and everybody can pick up the source on the SCI GitHub uh, repository, and it's totally integrated right now in OZATE. So you can even download OZATE, the latest OZATE um, version, and test it. So now within using the virtual integration capabilities of AADL, yep. if part of what you're trying to analyze 
are the uh, compliance to standards that require a fault tree, you can look and see how much of a fault tree I can build with the current representation of my model. Can you see what's missing and things that you're going to have to bring into the model to make it complete enough to do the fault tree? Are those the kinds of that's, things? That's, that's correct. So we have this. And uh, what is really nice by, with this new tool is, I mean, we, we start the tool and we wrote the tool from scratch. So we started to see how we can uh, generate the fault tree from the model, but also how we can optimize the fault tree. For example, oh, okay. um, is there a way to improve the fault tree? Is there a way to compute proba probabilities of a failure? So for example, what's, right. what's the probability of this failure according to my model, according to how my model is designed? Do I have redundancy or, or not? Do I have uh, common failure? Right. So one failure that affects different components, this, sure. this type of thing. How I can optimize my, 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 my fault tree? For example, if I have different nodes, in the same place in my fault tree, maybe I can optimize it. Make it maybe I can suggest some refactoring of the fault tree, this type of thing. So okay. what is nice is by having the source, it was easy for us to add new features and new functionalities uh, into this new tool. Something that is, for example, not supported in some other tools. Right. So, so not only do we get a basic fault tree, but we get some optimizations that are not possible when you're not doing virtual integration, right? That's exactly. part of, the, this is the synergy between the yeah. fault tree analysis and the modeling using the AADL language and the OSATE toolset. That's correct. Uh, another thing that is really useful is um, uh, AADL is uh, SAE standard. Yes. You know that. And Society uh, of Automotive Engineering, their avionics division, uh, is the one correct. that supports the standard. And uh, th there is um, another um, group like, uh, called the S18 group related to safety. And what is nice is uh, we work with this group so that we ah. can improve the, the fault tree and, say, and ask them if our tool makes sense for them. So it's like having the endorsement from sure. the safety community and also spread the word, hey, this tool exists, you can pick it up. Right. And, that. and so now is this tool limited in its current um, instantiation to just avionics kinds of systems? So it could be used for automobiles, it could be used in other kinds of transport, and it could be used even in finance or insurance or okay. any kind of application where you want to be looking at how um, different faults could lead to different interactions in components of your system. That's correct. Okay. Uh, so even if you're not using an ADL, you may want to take a look at this fault tree analysis tool if you have risks related to, um, to failure. And correct. Which, don't we all have risks related to failure in our systems? <laughs> Correct. And even in the example of, uh, of EMFTA, we have a medical example for a oh, okay. system. Um, yeah, medical devices I can see. I know the FDA requires exactly. all kinds of documentation automotive, on safety. Yeah. Automotive, same thing. So you can support a any okay. domains. All right. So if we have listeners out there that are thinking about how they would want to get access to this, you said it's on the GitHub repository. So they would go into the SCI website, and that link will be available on our website with this podcast, so people can just look for there for that repository. And I assume there's some documentation there. So um, there is full documentation about the functionality, how to design a fault tree, how to have the different representation, either a graph or okay. a table, uh, the different optimization and feature we provide. But also, um, if you get the source on GitHub, you have to build the source and, and for sure. the end user, it might not be You have to convenient. compile it, yeah. So uh, we, uh, what is nice is for the end user, we integrate this tool inside OZATE. Okay. So you just download OZATE and OZATE it's will... Already, the executable is already there in OZATE. Exactly. So Very basically, good. even if you don't use AADL, you can still use the fault tree analysis capability. Gotcha. It's no problem. Also, we have this, um, this bridge between AADL and the fault tree. But if you are using another language, you can also... Use Connect AADL. to another language. Exactly. That's not, that's not a problem. Excellent. Well, I know there are people out there that are going to be very excited about this. Uh, safety engineers, systems engineers that have to do these kinds of analyses. I've done these kinds of analyses in the past, and they are very, very time consuming to do when you don't have this kind of tool support. So, so that, that's extremely exciting. Uh, what are you going to do next? What are, what's, are you going to build a course to go along with this, uh, or are you going to take this 
into some other safety related modeling kinds of things? What's, what's up on the agenda? So, um, so we, we started this tool uh, last year for, uh, for the SAVI project. So when we were uh, working with Boeing, Rockwell Collins, Honeywell on, on the SAVI project. Um, right now, we have a, a line project at the SCI uh, that is focused on security. And ah. it's funny because Ooh. we talk about fault tree today, but in the security community, there is something called attack tree. And it's they have an attack tree. They've got a vulnerability tree. They have lots of trees. Exactly. M m there's a big forest in security. So, <laughs> so, um, so basically, we are reusing the same framework to build the attack ah. tree from the AEDM model. OK. So uh, we um, currently are working on publishing the tool, reading the tool, uh, applying the tool. We will apply the tool in the Avionix domain. Okay. Uh, also for the SAVI consortium. There is a lot of uh, discussion about avionic security. For example, can you control sure, a plane? Sure, uh, yeah. We don't want people controlling planes that aren't the pilots. Z exactly. Yeah. So there, there is some claim uh, that it's possible. Uh, what is interesting is with the model, we'll be able to show if you can reach uh, the, um, the plane and the, the, the control of the plane, the, all the systems that control right, the plane right. from, for from a model. Yeah, and also, yeah. Ca can you, from the entertainment system reach out to right. Uh, right, 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 right. That's the, the classic that people talk about. Exactly. Yeah. These are also the LDSB system, for example, can you fake planes into the ground station and things like this. We will show that with the attack tree and also on the uh, model that we that is called the attack impact. Um, last thing is we have a big event in September. There is a, an event um, uh, called ES Week, Embedded System Week okay. in Pittsburgh in October. Uh, I will do a tutorial for uh, half a day that involves security and Excellent. safety. Uh, so I will I will probably use this fault tree analysis tool for my for my tutorial with the safety analysis nice. as well. Nice, very good. All right, and we will include information about Embedded Systems Week uh, on the on the podcast page as well. Exactly, we'll have uh, the, the tutorial for half a day. We'll have um, the ADL standardization committee the same week at the SCI. Gotcha. Everybody is yes. welcome to come. We've talked to, to some of them in the past. Yes. And uh, finally, we have a workshop um, uh, about a uh, high integrity system called HILT. Uh, we'll have talk uh, from Phil Koopman from Ka uh, Carnegie Mellon University. Very nice. Uh, John Knight from University of Virginia, and uh, also uh, Bernard Dion from ANSYS, the company that is uh, providing um, SCADE, SCADE system and SCADE suite to design Excellent. the safety critical system. So it will be a big week, a lot of events, and hopefully a really good uh, tutorial. <laughs> I, I am sure it will be wonderful. I might even be able to get away and attend. I would love to, to see that tutorial. Thank you. Julian, thank you for joining us and updating on this. This is very exciting work. Uh, doing things that are open source and accessible to the community is very important to our work. So I thank you for sharing this with us, and I look forward to talking with you in the future. Thank you. Thanks again to Julian and our audience for joining us today. Uh, we have several things that are available to you through the podcast link. We have the podcast itself. We will have the link to Embedded Systems Week. We will also have a link to the OSATE tool and the GitHub for the source code for the open source tool for fault tree analysis that Julian was talking to us about. As always, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us at info at sei.cmu.edu. And don't forget that in addition to being on the SEI website at www.sei.cmu.edu slash podcasts, this podcast will also be available through Carnegie Mellon University's iTunes U site. Thank you very much for joining.